Father, you were explaining to us um, how this water comes to be Uganda Matters Holy Water. What's the science behind that? The, wa, how they, yes, because we've seen that it, is, uh, it was an idea of Monsignor Mbwega and how it has come to be expanded and the beautification. So now, how, how come it's called Uganda Matters Holy Water? Yes. So Father, we start from how it came about to be called the Holy Matters of Uganda, Holy Water. Now, like it is the case with the Lourdes in France, the place of Mother Mary, it happens also here. For those times I went to France, I've come back, I've come back with the Gericans of water because it comes from Mother Mary's place. Now many people, quite many, come here, they take this water and they regard it holy water, although the practice would be you take the water you take it to a priest, a deacon for blessing. Ah. Because the lake is on the land of the martyrs, on the land where the martyrs died, people regard it as holy water. They come, they take, they come, they take. some come back to testify. I took this water, but we, when I went back home, Praying, I used it and I had failed to conceive, for example, and here is the baby. I've come to thank God. Some say I came with a bad skin. I took the water and look how the skin looks today. Thanks be to God. The Americans, I don't know whether I've ever mentioned this, some Americans some years back who were with me here, I came to welcome them. I told them, but you take the water, but boil it before using it. The, one of them blasted me terribly. Father, you don't know what you are talking about. Because when you boil the water, the blessings evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, ran, I ran back a bit because he was approaching me. Yeah, with eyes wide open. That later. I was comforted by his, his fellow pilgrims. They said, no, he has said that out of faith. It was not out of ignorance, but out of faith. Sorry, Father, I said, oh, you don't need to apologize. I think that, that. Otherwise, we have to clean the water now and then. Now and then. So how often, Father, is this water cleaned and uh what is the process of cleaning it? Because we see it's always the same color, it's clean, no leaves on it. How? We, use, we use some canoes. Okay. I think they are here. There is a canoe over here. Uh, there is one only. Mm. There is a canoe there, but there is more than one. Mm. They go around cleaning, cleaning uh, every after period or every after we notice that there is need to clean it yes. otherwise we, when we notice that there have there has been a heavy a heavy storm then we also we act accordingly mm. we clean it we clean it now it's high time we cleaned it mm. i think this time we've delayed a bit i, I would think well, okay, but it's understandable. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, COVID. dear viewer, before COVID. I think, Father, before twin, before is what was that? Well, that was 2016 when it was renovated to look this way, when Pope Pope Francis was coming. 2015. 2015. But the work started earlier. Mm. Before, because I remember this time I came and I could literally like bend down, uh -huh. pick my own water from the lake. But now it's far, really far. Which is which was very dangerous, <laughs> because <laughs> one time. One time a vehicle, before all these were made, one time a vehicle 
run from there. They were sitting there having a party after the child had uh, received a sacrament of confirmation, uh, uh, confirmation or holy Com uh, conf sacrament yeah. of confirmation, I please. Then the, the, the child went, one of the children went back to the vehicle. Oh. It came down. I think the, the handbrake was released and it came running swoop, up to there. Into the water. I heard people shouting because before the renovation, my room was one of those you see. I heard no sense of the wah, la, 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 la. I, I came after hearing the alarm. I found the car there and the, the tires were up. So the vehicle was upside down. Fortunately, somebody had the, some knowledge of swimming. That Otherwise, we have been, if, at the beginnings, one, one would go down. But when we sensed danger, uh, we said, no, 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 let's put taps. Yes. So well, here, this water yeah. comes directly from the lake. Mm -hmm. This water. Uh -huh. It comes directly from the water. Mm -hmm. There are about how many taps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, more, more than, than ten, ten taps. Yes. <laughs> and Father, I've noticed that when you open these ones that are not attached to this pipe, these ones don't release, are they attached to a different pump? No, and not, this, only uh, these only these ones with the this hmm. white tap release water. There problem. might be a mechanical problem. Okay. There might be a mechanical but problem. But they all work. We shall, we shall check. Yeah, they all work. We shall have to check out, check out, and find out. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen the history of our beloved um, lake uh, in memory of our uh, Uganda matters, and. We have been advised when you come pick the water from the tap, take it to a priest or deacon, uh, Father, you said a deacon, yeah, already, already for deacon, blessing. Deacon also, yes. You. But of course, I, I've also heard of stories of uh, people who have used the water just straight from here to home and they have gotten blessings and healing and all those things. So with faith, everything can happen and anything can happen. But this is it. And we've seen how the process was, how it came into existence, many thanks to the late Monsignor Lawrence Mbwega. Once again, again, that we see where a mass, mass is celebrated, celebrated yes. used to be around here, in but it was in a, in a, a valley. Mm -hmm. But there, you see it's elevated yes. also. Otherwise, the President of Uganda, His Excellency, His Excellency the President of Uganda used you know, Many times, uh, most times, uh, mm -hmm. sits there t along with some other uh, pilgrims, dignitaries, yes. uh, priests behind, behind, the uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, uh, except those who are uh, near, mm -hmm. uh, who near the main celebrant, the choir always there. Mm. Yes. And by the way, yes. one interesting yes. thing is, you see yes. that, but down mm -hmm. there are offices under the altar. Under the altar. There are oh. offices. Where is the entrance? We, 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 if possible, we can go around and we see the entrances. Okay. This is our day, guys. Let's tour uh, our beloved Matters Shrine and especially where we always celebrate the Uganda Matters Day every 3rd of June. We're going to see offices under the altar. Father, which offices are these that are No, just for the small meetings. Okay. Small like usually in plan of the mm, There Matters is even day. a di dining hall there. Uh, for the celebrants when they come here, there are also toilets. But uh, but the toilets, one would wonder how a toilet can be there. Uh -huh. uh, but the drainage, <laughs> where does it lead to? It doesn't mix at okay. all with the water. Wow! It all ends there and that end. Okay. Everything, uh, thanks to uh, to the Rocco construction who who did the work. Wow. So someone would want to know, meanwhile, as we head to the, the site, someone would love to know, like last year it was projected that this year would have more pilgrims compared to the previous years. If, yeah. Father, how many would you have projected to be last year? Because you know the numbers yeah, are right About here. three millions, more than three, three million. Last year, how many were Because hmm? I was one of the pilgrims. How many were we last year, 2019? Yeah, more than three millions. So mm. this year would clock to four million? No, I believe. Wow. I believe. And they all fit in this place. Oh, the three millions do not fit here. <laughs> we, be, we fit even in the roads. Uh, uh, the pilgrims will be up to Kyalu That's true. That's true. We can't fit some toilets. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
And the dignitaries always sit up there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Now, it's the entrance to the altar. Mm. Down, down we can speak. Here, the, the, the door is not seen. It's all, yeah. There is a staircase the going down. There is a yes. And they even have ACs, because mm -hmm. I see there is AC inside. There are. Wow. There are. How would we manage? <laughs> yeah, yes. Open there the windows like and water Everything enters. From there, from the washroom down there. Mm. And outside, does it mix with the water? Oh, OK. No. There's, a, there's a clear distinction. What ah. goes where? Now, you, see, you can see the, the door. Yes, yes, yes. The door there. And, and you see the steps. So from there, we come up and we proceed to the altar. Okay. It's very clear now because when it is matters then people are here, you cannot see everything. But it's very clear now that there are office spaces under the altar. And there is a staircase that leads there from the altar. There is wing A where the dignitaries, officials, presidents, ambassadors sit. Wing B. Mm, toilets. Every, every wing has, has washrooms. Yeah, every wing. And then wing B and is some, for the some, religious yeah, clergy. Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. some uh, uh, priests there, and some religious there. If there is a space, then uh, something can be devised. Otherwise, behind, behind, His Grace the Archbishop is planning to make a water plant. It was found out we have we have a lot we have a lot of water and that that will be i believe uganda matters water i don't know yes. it hey. should be. yeah yes. soon soon there will be a water, a, a water plant uh, you've mentioned many dates but why specifically third june do we celebrate the matters day and why namgongo thank you very much for that question and it has been posed several times First of all, like we mentioned, 13 of the Uganda martyrs of, on the Catholic side died at Namukongo. 12 along with 13 Protestants at the then official execution site there, which, at that site which is under the jurisdiction of the Church of Uganda. So 13. Of the 22, 13 died at Namukongo. Charles Luanga here at the Catholic shrine, then 12 plus the 13. So the majority of the martyrs died at Namugongo. That's why. And the nine others elsewhere, mm. but the 13 at Namugongo and the majority. But also on the 18th of October 1964, when Pope Paul VI was ending his decree we, 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 at the end towards the end at the end he said we decree that Matthias Murumba, Chazwanga and their companions are now saints in heaven uh -huh. let this day be solemnly celebrated the 3rd of June let the 3rd of June be solemnly celebrated universally in the Catholic Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, he ended. That uh, for pay, in 1962, African Holocaust, the story of the Uganda matters. God bless. Yes. God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.